men and women design, build, and fly aircraft. Contact. Aircraft that deliver goods and passengers, and aircraft that kill. But while the plane has a practical purpose, all the great aircraft you will see in this video have had an inspirational purpose too. Today, aircraft are preserved in their hundreds. The history of powered flight during this century is in many respects a reflection of our civilization in both its best and its worst aspects. This is the story of a few machines which have survived to the present day. This Aeroactive Mark II, call sign HABVE, was built in 1932 by the Arrow Company of Leeds. But there was no further production in those rather depressed times. The aircraft's construction represented the British aircraft industry of the time in microcosm. A de Havilland engine, a ferry propeller, Dunlop tires, Reynolds tubing, and Reed and Sigrist and Smith's instruments. Desmond Penrose purchased a share in the aircraft in 1978 and became its owner in 1980. And his aim has been to restore precisely to the original specification. The Aeroactive Mark II was built in 1932 intended to be a lightweight fighter trainer aircraft. It has taken me some eight years to restore, and whilst I am the owner of the aircraft, in truth I regard myself solely as its custodian. Restoration of this aircraft has required some very detailed research to ensure, for example, that the ferry company logo was as they had in 1932, it took nearly four months. Over the years, they'd altered both the shape, the color of the wings, and the propeller inside. The shade of red on this propeller stripe also required detailed research and took nearly two months before we were absolutely convinced that we had the right color. The historic importance of this aircraft has been recognized by many organizations, including the Royal Aeronautical Society, but it must be said that it would neither be on display nor flying were it not for the dedicated help of a group of engineers. 
The aircraft is housed at the Shuttleworth Collection, Bedfordshire, where Desmond regularly gives demonstrations of the performance of his unique aircraft. <laughs> 